Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite warfare scriptures, especially when you are going through it. There are some scriptures that you definitely need to know, have them in your memory, have them in your spirit, in your heart, because that is number one way to fight back Satan. The number one way to fight him back, prayer, fasting, knowing the word of God, resisting the devil and he will flee speak scripture back to him jesus did this in matthew 4 he spoke scripture back to satan so i just want to read this really quickly so in matthew 4 and i'm reading from the new living translation it says the temptation of jesus then jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil for 40 days and 40 nights, he fasted and became very hungry. During that time, the devil came to him and said to him, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, no, the scriptures say, and in the new living, actually, let's do the, the, the new King James because I like that one better. Jesus answers, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds the mouth of God. Again, here in uh, verse six, it says, if you are the son of God, the devil saying, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down for it is written. See Satan, no scripture. He shall give his angels charge over you and in their hands, they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. That's Psalms 91. Satan knows scripture too. And here in verse seven, Jesus said to him, it is written. You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Okay, third example, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I will give to you if you fall down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. Now, verse 11, then the devil left him and behold, angels came and ministered to him, meaning Jesus. So this is why we need to know our scriptures. If Jesus fought back Satan with scripture, we need to do the same exact thing. So I want to just give you some of my personal favorites that whenever, you know, the devil tries to tempt and listen, this will always happen in our walk with Jesus. We will always be tempted. We will always be fighting Satan. It is a 24 hour battle constantly, whether it's in the physical flesh, with the world, with Satan and his demons principalities all of that right this is why we have to constantly put on the full armor of god so i'm jumping into it so ephesians 6 10 to 18 so it says here and i'm going to go back to my new living translation it says finally a word be strong in the lord and his mighty power put on all of god's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in this dark world against evil spirits in heavenly places this is why it's so important to remember that yes maybe somebody's like annoying you maybe somebody's really like you know coming for you remember it's not the person it's the spirit within the person okay now verse 13 on every piece of god's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in times of evil then after the battle you will still be standing firm stand your ground putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of god's righteousness for shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so you'll be fully prepared and in addition to all of these hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil put on the salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit which is the word of god hence again we need to know our word Okay, and the next scripture in 18, it says, pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. My next favorite one, which I won't read the whole entire thing, Psalms 91. This, I say this day and night, the same thing with Ephesians 6. I put on the full armor of God day and night and Psalm 91. That is one of my favorite protection Psalms. It's a beautiful Psalm. Um, I will absolutely say, memorize this have this in your spirit this is something that i constantly say um in the morning before i start my day and then at night before i go to bed over my household over myself over my everything that the lord has given me right it's so important to have these scriptures the other other thing i do as well is that i plead the blood of jesus over everything before i go to bed i have anointing oil i have a whole video about that on my tiktok channel so having that is important as well and resisting satan so we're going to jump into the next scripture james 4 7 so humble yourself before god resist the devil and he will flee from you this is true the more you resist him when you're getting tempted resist him by saying scriptures resist him by anytime you feel tempted to do something go run to your word go listen to worship music i remember when i was um getting sober and stopped drinking whenever i had a craving in the beginning of my walk with the lord i ran to worship 
and then the craving would go away. And then he took away the desire completely away from me. So this is something, again, having that resistance to the enemy is important because there's a lot of people who do not have that. They give in to their flesh, they give in to lack of self-control, and they give in to their temptations. So we have to know that when we resist the devil and submit to the Lord, right? Submit to God, submit and surrender to the Lord and resist the Satan and he will flee from you. Next one is 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. It says, the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience and God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. And when you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure because remember temptation suffering trials all this stuff we have to endure it we have to go through suffering we have to go through trials and tribulations in our walk with christ it will happen the lord did not promise us a perfect easy life it's the opposite jesus said to prepare to suffer for his name's sake so we will suffer for his name's sake we will go through trials however the beauty of the lord is that he's with us we don't go through this by ourselves. This walk is not a walk that we are going by ourselves. Jesus is with us throughout every single step. The Lord says that he will be with us. He will never forsake us and he will never leave us. So that is one of the beauties of this walk. Yes, there might be difficulties, but Jesus will never leave us high and dry. He will always be by our side. Now, the next scripture um, is Exodus 14, 14. It says, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. All you need to do is stay still. How beautiful is that? Stay still and know that he is the Lord. Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapons formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. Number one of my favorites, say that all the time, especially when it comes to fighting spiritual warfare. I'm like, and anytime I go to bed, no weapons that are formed or fashioned against me shall prosper. Next scripture is Psalms 27 verses one to three. These are my personal favorites. I have a lot of them, but I made this into like a smaller version in this video because I could literally talk about this all day. <laughs> um, so Psalm 27, one to three. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came up against me to eat my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp it against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. And we are confident in what? That the Lord is our salvation, that he is our light, that we have nothing to fear. And I'll end with this one. First John 4, 4 says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in you, the Holy Spirit, is greater than he who is in the world, who is Satan. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God is so much stronger than Satan. Yes, Satan does have power, right? The Lord has given him some power, but he is not powerful than the Most High God. Okay, having the Holy Spirit dwelling within you is so important because our, our spirit is aligned with the Holy Spirit. Actually, I'm adding a bonus one. Psalm 118, verse 17, and it's in the New King James. It says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. So people who suffer with fear, who suffer with, you know, maybe you're going through, um, spirit, again, spiritual attacks, um, knowing that and saying these scriptures and saying them out loud and also having faith in them, right? We don't just say these things and then just say it because we don't have faith, right? No, we say it because we believe God's word. Remember that his word is alive and active. It's like a two-edged sword. And he says in Jeremiah, is my word not like fire? It's one of my favorite ones. Is my word not like a fire? It is like a hammer. It breaks and builds, okay? It will break the walls, the chains right now in your life. The word of God is so powerful. This is why we need to be in our word. These are some of my personal favorites on top of, like I said, pleading the blood of Jesus, on top of fasting, on top of uh, getting into the, into God's presence, right? The secret place is our refuge, right? Psalm 91, saying these scriptures out loud, meeting them, praying for your family, right? Praying for protection constantly for yourself and for your family. Know that when you're a child of God, yes, you do have the, the, the supernatural divine protection of God, the hand of God over your life, right? When you are a child of God, when you are a child of God, meaning that you have given your life over to the Lord, that you are baptized in the Holy Spirit. Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Okay. And the Holy Spirit leads your life. You are a child of God. Okay. Not everybody is a child of God. The Bible says if they do not have the Spirit of the Lord, they do not know God. If they do not have the Holy Spirit, they do not know the Lord. Okay. So, so important just to differentiate between the two as well. God loves everyone, but you're only a child of God when you have the Holy Spirit. And how do you get the Holy Spirit? You ask God. Once you 
seek salvation, you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you repent, and then you are baptized in the Holy Spirit. I have a whole video about being baptized in the Holy Spirit and just the Holy Spirit on my channel. Um, so I hope that this helps you. If you have any questions about these scriptures, I made this very short and sweet because I want you guys to go back and write these scriptures down and meditate on them, read through them for yourself, really understand the depths of the scripture, right? And have them in your spirit, especially when you're going through it. I'm telling you, when you are going through it, you're going to need an arsenal. You're going to need your weapons. You're going to need the word of God, right? You're going to need the Lord to sustain you during this time of your life. We are all going through it. And his word is what has kept me through this season of spiritual warfare. That has kept me through endurance, all of it. So I really hope that this helps you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. And if you have any comments, please let me know. If you have any questions about any of the scriptures, I will list them all down. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon.